Hi, I'm Gia Calhoun, and I'm gonna show you a few ways to use the magic circle. I'm gonna show you how to use it to challenge an exercise, how to assist with an exercise, and how to stretch with it. So first, for an arm exercise, we're gonna place a circle between your hands, fingers are stretched out long, shoulders are on your back. You're just gonna squeeze the circle and then release. You can do it with bent arms, elbows wide, arms straight, whatever feels good to you. You can even put it behind you. What you'll feel is that your um, shoulder girdle, your back, everything is engaging and you can do this in abdominal exercises, uh, standing exercises, whatever you need to get a little bit more work in your upper body. You can also place it between your thighs. It's kind of like the original thigh master. And if you were doing a bridge or chest lift, if you squeeze, you'll feel the inner thighs activate. It brings you closer to your midline and you can feel everything working in the inner thighs. Another way to activate your leg muscles is to place the circle on the outer part of your ankles and you can have the legs stretched out long. If you push out with the legs, you'll feel their hips working. So it gets, you can do the inner thighs with the circle on the inside of your legs and you can do the outer thighs with the circle on the outer legs. It's a great way to add a little bit more work into every exercise. If you need the circle to help you, we can start with a chest lift. You're gonna place a circle behind your head. You want it right at the occiput where your skull meets your neck, and then you can lie down. You'll find where it's comfortable, and then you're gonna place your hands on the other part of the padded circle, and then you're just gonna let your head be heavy into the mat as you lift your head up. So it's a great way to do a sit-up or any kind of chest lift without feeling any strain in your neck. It gives you a little bit of support, and it allows you to use your upper abdominals as you do your chest lift. Another modification you can use the circle for is a push-up. So if you place the circle right at your sternum, you come into your plank position, whether you're on your knees or in a full plank, and it gives you a little bit of support. So as I bend down into my push-up, it's kind of helping me, helping to hold me up, and then I push up. It also gives me a little resistance as I push up. So it's giving me the support I need to bend my elbows all the way down and then back up. Last, we're gonna show you how to stretch with the circle. So I'm gonna lie down on my back. I'm gonna place one foot in the padded part of the circle and then stretch my leg up to the ceiling. So this is a nice way to add a stretch, especially if you can't reach your foot, it gives you a little bit more range. And then it also helps keep your foot flexed so you can really get to the back of the leg. It's a nice way to stretch without getting any strain, especially in the upper body because Sometimes when we, get, uh, when we stretch, we can get a little tense. You can let go with one hand, cross leg over into an IT band stretch. And again, you can use that circle to help keep the foot flexed. So that way we don't relax into it and we get the full stretch. And then you can switch hands again and open out to the side and get a stretch in the inner thigh. Everything we worked when we were challenging the leg, we can stretch it with the circle. So I hope you learned something. And these are, again, this is a great prop that you can use to challenge, assist, or stretch with. And you can find more on PilatesAnytime.com for full magic circle classes.